The just-concluded Dalit trade fair in Mumbai has been hailed as a major step towards empowerment, especially as stalwarts of Indian industry led by Ratan Tata participated. Now the question being asked is, will this take Dalit empowerment beyond vote bank politics? Ratan Tata, caught in a stampede of adulation and hope, inspiring young Dalit entrepreneurs at a trade fair organized by the Dalit Chamber of Industry in Mumbai. It's a great pleasure to be here to endorse the support I think that everyone in India should give to young entrepreneurs. Tata, Adi Godrej, Farhad Forbes, industry heavyweights, not only breaking barriers, but putting their money to help integrate Dalit businesses to the mainstream, making most of a business opportunity, at the same time empowering the larger Dalit community. Leaders like Mayavati who espoused the Dalit cause have tried to empower the community with a unique blend of symbolism and development. But when it comes to directly helping their businesses, India Inc. seems to have an edge. From the industry to getting orders and from the financial institutions, uh, getting finance. These two are usual problems our entrepreneurs face. The Dalit Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry started in 2003 and has a thousand members today. Their annual turnover rupees 10,000 crore. While 80% of the business comes from the larger industry, they say only 20% is earned from government contracts. The industry says assistance from government bodies like the National Scheduled Caste Finance and Development Corporation has helped, but only up to an extent. But that seems to be changing now. In Mumbai, Tejas Mehta for NDTV. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.